Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most infamous and fascinating art heists in history. It's the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum robbery. This heist is often referred to as the greatest art heist of all time and for good reason. In this video, we're going to explore the details of this heist, the stolen artwork, and the ongoing investigation to recover the lost pieces. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into this captivating story. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum Before we get into the heist, let's talk a little bit about the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. This museum located in Boston, Massachusetts, was opened to the public in 1903. It was the brainchild of Isabella Stewart Gardner, a wealthy American art collector and philanthropist. Gardner was a passionate art lover and spent her entire life traveling the world and collecting beautiful and rare pieces of art. She even built her own Venetian-style palace to house her extensive collection. The museum was designed to showcase her art collection to the public and to serve as a cultural center for the city of Boston. Gardner passed away in 1924, and Earl stipulated that her collection and palace should be maintained as a museum, free for the public to enjoy. The Heist Now, let's fast forward to March 18, 1990. It was ST. Patrick's Day weekend, and the city of Boston was buzzing with excitement. At around 1.30 in the morning, Two men dressed as police officers buzzed the intercom at the museum's side entrance. The guards on duty, Richard Abath and Randy Heston, let them in, believing that they were legitimate police officers. Once inside, the officers tied up the guards and made their way to the museum's Dutch room. In just 81 minutes, they stole 13 works of art worth an estimated $500 million. The stolen pieces included three Rembrandts, a Vermeer, a Manet, and several other priceless works. The robbery was a massive blow to the museum and the art world as a whole. The stolen works were some of the most valuable and iconic pieces of art in history. The FBI launched an investigation immediately, but the culprits have never been caught. The Stolen Artwork Let's take a closer look at some of the stolen pieces. One of the most valuable and well-known pieces is Vermeer's The Concert. This masterpiece is considered one of the greatest works of art in history and is valued at over $200 million. It's a small painting, just 28 by 25 inches, but it packs a punch. Vermeer was a master of light and color, and this piece showcases his skill perfectly. Another stolen piece is Rembrandt's The Storm on the Sea of Galilee. This work of art is the only seascape ever painted by Rembrandt and is considered one of his greatest works. It depicts a scene from the New Testament, where Jesus and his disciples are caught in a storm while sailing on the Sea of Galilee. The painting is enormous, measuring 5 by 4 feet, and is valued at over $100 million. There are 11 other pieces of art that were stolen from the Gardner Museum, each one as valuable and iconic as the next. The pieces have never been recovered, and their whereabouts are still a mystery. The Investigation The FBI has been investigating the Gardner Museum robbery for over 30 years, but they still haven't been able to solve the case. Over the years, there have been several leads and suspects, but none of them have panned out. One of the most promising leads came in 2013, when the FBI announced that they had identified two suspects who were involved in the robbery. However, the individuals were already deceased, and the stolen artwork was still missing. In 2015, the FBI announced that they believed they knew the location of the stolen artwork, but unfortunately, they were wrong. The search continues to this day and the FBI is still offering a $10 million reward for any information leading to the recovery of the stolen pieces. The Aftermath The Gardner Museum robbery had a profound impact on the art world and the museum itself. The museum was closed for several weeks following the robbery and has since implemented stricter security measures. 
They've also added empty frames in the museum to represent the stolen pieces, a somber reminder of the heist that took place. The stolen artwork has become the subject of countless books, documentaries, and even a podcast called Last Scene, which delves into the details of the heist and the ongoing investigation. Conclusion The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum robbery is a story that continues to captivate and intrigue people around the world. The theft of these priceless pieces of art is not only a tragedy but also a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. We can only hope that one day the stolen artwork will be recovered and returned to its rightful place in the museum. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the greatest art heist in history. Let us know in the comments what you think happened to the stolen artwork and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more captivating content like this.